Okay, really quick, this is part two of a two-part series, Breaking Down Wheelie. Go watch part one if you haven't already. It'll make this video make a lot more sense, but you don't have to do that if you want. Anyway, just a little disclaimer. All right, here's the video. Now we get into the more melodic guitar stuff. This intro, I guess you could call it a guitar solo. <laughs> Okay, so in the chorus, there's this little guitar melody thing, reverby, spacey, atmospheric guitar part going on behind everything. So we have these double stops. This just goes on in the second verse. And then I, I will talk about this. So this is a crazy guitar, as stated by the name here. It's moving. And then just ends. Uh, I recorded that for a different song. I loved that recording so much and I thought that it would fit the chaotic energy that I was going for on the back half of this second chorus right here. When I'm talking about like drowning and all that stuff and getting all dramatic, uh, this part comes in and it just makes the song feel really unstable and chaotic and whoa there's some crazy guitar t tone going on freaking i mean it doesn't even sound like a guitar it just sounds like some weird eerie discomforting sound brought it over into this and i transposed it to the key of wheelie i didn't really do anything to it other than that <laughs> Okay, so we're almost done with the instrumental. What do we got? We got the keys. What is this? Okay, so this is a synth. This is just a synth stab. That's it. That's it, just one note. That was inspired by Ariana Grande's Bad Idea, because in Bad Idea, there's a little like, I got a bad idea, and then it goes, bum, like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like those bums are the, the synth pad that I'm talking about. Thought that was a really cool sound. So I wanted to add that in mind. Okay, and then I have these wonky keys. This is a really corny sound. I was this close to scrapping this layer, but I figured it was tucked enough back in the mix that I could just keep it just for the heck of it. Sounds like some like like nature documentary or something. That, uh, I will get this out just because it's such a novel and fun item. That sound that you just heard is this guy right here. This piece of garbage. I picked that bad boy up. Uh, I got it for free one day. I, w I was working at Guitar Center. There was one lady that came in and had that, wanted to sell it. We decided that it was too much of a piece of garbage to ask money for. We just said, hey, like, we can't give you anything for this. Like, no one's gonna pay money for it. And then she was like, that's fine, keep it. It was just sitting in the in the pro audio. That's where I worked. It was just sitting in the pro audio section the whole day. And then I was like, Pff, I snagged it. And uh, and now I have it. It's the the miracle. Yeah, I don't know if that's a very fitting name, but it's uh, it's got some interesting sounds on there. But what I did for Wheelie was I think I ran it through like a cassette. It was it was either a cassette plug-in or my actual Tascam cassette two track. It's the electric piano sound on the Miracle on like the first bank of sounds. Okay, so fun story time. That was fun. Let's go to these ad libs and sound effects. Pretty self-explanatory. We have this scream. <laughs> which is a mixture of like four different samples. I think it's my girlfriend screaming. It's this, there's this one Ableton sample, uh, this like horrible screaming synthesizer sample that's just ear piercing. And then it's another screaming sample. It's all bounced down so you can't see the individual layers, but that's what it is. <laughs> then I got some talking, uh, just some ambient talking in certain parts of the song. Yeah. I'll stay around my head. All right, one more. Uh-huh. <laughs> My friend leaned out of the window and yelled that at someone that was standing on the side of the road and it wasn't until we drove by that we realized, oh, that was a cop. I just thought it was a fun little ad lib to throw in there. But that wraps up the instrumental. Now we can dive into the vocals. We got the chorus vocals and the verse vocals. The processing on both of these is pretty much identical. It's just separated for organization. Got the lead vocal. Slow down. 
And now the soul escapes the underground And then that's just layered with some doubles Slow down And now the soul escapes the underground And I have these low doubles So same, they're doubles, but they're just singing an octave lower Slow down and now the soul escapes the underground And then I have these falsetto layers Yikes, there's just vocal, there's so many vocal layers Slow down and now the soul escapes the underground And then I got some harmonies here Slow down And now the soul escapes the underground And then I have this monotone layer which comes in in the second half of the second chorus. So I'll just solo it because it's so tucked. You're not gonna be able to hear it if I play it with all the other vocals. Surprise. Drowning in a sea of black light. And then the psyche, like the psychedelic delays. <laughs> Pretty friggin' sick, uh, if you ask me. So then all the chorus vocals together, I'll play the second half here. Surprise. Drowning in a sea of black light Can't stop seeing life all sideways and then in the verse vocals, it's the same thing as the chorus vocals, just a lot less complex. You know, we have a lead vocal, we have a monotone vocal, the horribly rapped vocal. Uh, just some doubles, uh, four doubles panned exactly the same, and then some low doubles panned exactly the same as well, I believe. So it's the same situation, just uh, I mean, uh, dialed way down, no falsettos, stuff like that. Through now, nobody tells us what to do now. No harmonies either. Then, at the end of this song, right at the end of verse 3, going into the outro, we have this little quote, I guess. I just call it an end quote, because that's kind of what it is, I guess, but it's just this little thing. Just make believe, don't go that easy. That's what I'm saying. And then the last thing to go over, which is my favorite part of the whole song, is this surround sound. You get this big wall of sound vocal with a billion layers going on. We're in surround sound. Freaking crazy. That is all of my friends and family. I got my mom. I got my dad, I got my one of my friends, Dylan. One of Dylan's friends, whom I don't know, so I just said random person. And then I have me doing a really high falsetto voice, me yelling. I have my girlfriend. I have me, but really, really, like, we're in surround sound, the really monotone, rappy one. Another falsetto, Mickey Mouse. And then one more of my friend, Dylan. And then two of my other friend, Dylan, whose name is spelled differently. So, yeah, I got all these layers contributing to that we're in surround sound line. Acting out, or just cruising town, we're in surround sound. Okay, so that is the whole song. I didn't want to go super duper 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 in depth to any one aspect of the song because I mean, there's freaking a hundred layers here. So if you guys, if you're a music producer or if you're just a music enthusiast or if you just are curious and you want to know any in depth thing about the song, by all means, comment down below, ask. I will do my absolute best to answer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of Wheelie. A um, lot of stuff going on. I hope you guys, you know, got a cool insight as to how the song kind of got put together. There's a music video out for it on YouTube. You can catch it on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud. It's on TikTok, I guess. Like, it's a sound. I don't use TikTok, so I don't know. But all the links will be in the description if you want to check the song out. Again, I'll reiterate, if you guys want me to break down any of my other songs, Glowing Booey, Melancholic, Velcro, that I released this past summer. Just let me know and I'll do them. But um, for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it here at Wheelie. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate every single view, every comment. So that's all I got. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. We're coming through now. Nobody tells us what to do.